Hi, my name is Harry. I'm a recent graduate from Oxford University, and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Groomy, which is the one-stop platform for Oxbridge applicants. Today, I would like to talk a little bit about how to make your personal statement a strong one. Right, today's first thing. Most of you will already know this, but through UCAS, we are applying to five different universities with one personal statement. Therefore, we are not writing why we want to study at that university, but why we want to study the particular subject we are applying for. For those of you who are applying to both US and UK universities, college essays have very different styles to personal statements in this respect. So, note that one. There isn't actually a set formula to writing a personal statement. The one that I will share with you guys today is the most commonly used one, the one that I use myself. It has three parts. First part is about why you want to study the subject, the most important part. The second part is about your academic achievements, showing that you are an academically strong person. Third part is about your extracurricular achievements. In my opinion, demonstrating why you want to study the subject, your passion for the subject, is the most challenging part. A lot of applicants try to relate an aspiring experience they had when they were young to their passion. Um, if you have one, if you can talk about one, that's great. For me, I talked about how three months of being at a hospital when I was young helped me, aspired me to become a researcher and contribute to the, to the pharmaceutical industry to finding cures for diseases. For subjects like medicine and law where post-graduation profession is directly related to the studies. I'm guessing the your motive, your, your, why you want to study the subject is very important. But you can also talk about academic reasons, academic reasons for wanting to study the subject. For example, you could talk about a subject area that that you that's not covered in your class, that's covered outside your class in your own time that you looked up yourself, you read about it yourself. And then say that this is one of the subject areas that you find interesting and would like to study more depth at university. So besides my three months experience at the hospital, I also talked about a book I had read called The Chemistry of Life, which introduced me to the, to the to the immunity topic in biochemistry and I said that immunity is one of the subjects that I would like to study in more depth at university. So this is the personal statement for biochemistry I wrote five years ago. I've divided why I want to study biochemistry part into two paragraphs. In the first, in the first paragraph you'll see I mentioned the Korean Cancer Center Hospital in Seoul to demonstrate my aspiring experience. In the second paragraph, you will see that I mentioned the chemistry of life and an actual content from the book and that I would like to study about immunity in more depth to show my academic reason for wanting to study biochemistry. All right, next up is the part about showing off academic achievement. I want to talk a little bit about British Biology Olympiad because I want to encourage most of you to search for some kind of competition where you can really pursue your interest. And hopefully, if you do manage to be awarded any sort of award 
it doesn't have to be medal wise award uh, just like me I didn't receive any medal I received a letter saying that I was highly commended anything if you can write anything like this uh, I believe this should really boost up the, the overall quality of your personal statement <clears throat> for example just as a head up at this link which refers to the essay competition held every year by Peterhouse College at Cambridge. I believe there's one for history, English and science, um, at least for 2015. Um, I, uh, I personally participated in 2009, didn't get through, but yeah, worth having a look. Right, last part extracurricular achievements yeah anything that shows leadership anything that shows uh, you're a, you're a determined hard-working person would be superb but a word of caution would be to keep the final part about extracurricular interests brief and focus more on the first two parts because Oxbridge admissions is all about academic merit so be aware of that i hope our video about how to write a strong personal statement has been useful also be sure to check out our large collection of personal statements kindly donated by current oxford and cambridge students on our site if you have any questions feel free to post and comment them below or contact me through our site otherwise i'll see you all at our next video in which I will be talking about what to expect at Oxford interviews and how to prepare for them. See you all.